like to share with you one of my all-time favorite gospel tunes, the song Wayfaring Stranger, which I put into my 40 Gospel Greats for Banjo book. It is a traditional song that has been recorded many times. One of my favorite versions is on Amy Lou Harris's Roses in the Snow album. It has also been recorded by all of these artists. And amazingly, even though people like Ralph Stanley have recorded it, none of those recordings have any banjo on them. So let's rectify that situation and show you a way to play both backup and a nice solo for this great song. Out of all those recorded versions, no two of them have the exact same chord pattern that they use. So here's the chords that we will use. We'll perform it in the key of A minor, all of this without retuning the banjo. Here are the chords that I use for backup. I use the A minor up here at the fifth fret. I use a D minor with the open fourth string and an E chord down here in the first position. When it gets to the F chord, I have a regular F and a regular C. There's two possible patterns that you can use as a backup that are kind of interesting. The first being So here's a demonstration of how the vocal fits with that backup pattern. I am a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world of woe There's another pattern that can be used when the song is performed at slower tempos. And I like to call this Boompa Chicka. It goes like this. One and two and three and four. And it's played with that banjo bounce, the shuffle, instead of even, which would have been... It has a little hop to it. So here's a demonstration of the bridge being performed using the Boompa Chicka pattern. I'm going there to see my mother. She said she'd meet me when I come. So try using either of those patterns as your backup using the chords that we presented earlier. Let's now take a look at how we could play a nice solo to both the verse and the bridge. We'll first go over a couple of the phrases you'll encounter, and after that we'll put together a complete practice track for you. Our solo will begin by holding this three finger A minor chord. We don't need the fourth string. So as you play that, you got quarter notes, and then you hit the first string again as a zero two hammer on. Notice that the forward roll, once you get it going, it extends into the next measure. The same thing happens with the D minor phrase, traveling through. You keep that forward roll going. You do lift your third finger in the second of the two measures. basically repeat the first A minor phrase again, and then when we come to the D minor the next time, we'll go to the E following that. Going into the bridge, I'm holding a bar with my first finger at the fifth fret. I'm also holding my second finger on the sixth fret of the second string. So at that point I'm doing a 5-7 hammer on with my pinky. Some people find it hard to get a good clear note there. If that's the case, just play the 7th fret without the hammer on, make it a quarter note. Here it is with the hammer on. A 
Again, the forward roll extends through a measure and a half. The second time, using the same pickup notes and the same hammer on. Open, then you go to your E chord. At that point, it just wraps up by replaying the last two lines of the verse. We'll now play the entire solo, both verse and bridge, and we'll play it to a rhythm track. If you need to slow it down, use the YouTube features. As always, dig in and have fun.